Good morning from Your Best Car in Kent. My name's Ben, I'm from one of our two UK branches. We're here in Cranbrook, 10 miles outside of Tunbridge Wells or just a 40 minute train commute from London. Our other site is in Buckinghamshire near Marlow and combined we have over 500 five-star reviews. So please check out our website to see the reviews of our happy customers and of course, the rest of our fleet. Before we get into the walk around, I'd just like to answer two of the most frequently asked questions that we get here. And they are, do we take part exchange and do we offer finance? The answers are both yes and yes. We will take your part exchange. We can even pay off outstanding finance on your current car. Then on top of that, I'm thrilled to say that we are industry beating with our low APR finance rate. So if finance is the route for you, then please get in contact with us or you can visit our website, yourbestcar.co.uk, where we have a finance breakdown of the contract. There's a finance calculator at the bottom of every advert. So you can put in some numbers, find something that works for you, whether it's PCP or HP. Then once you hit apply, we will get back in contact with you. So this is the walk around video for our seven seater Volvo XC90 R Design Pro presented in Savile Grey metallic paints. This is the four wheel drive and it's a Euro 6 compliant car with the two litre diesel engine producing 235 brake horsepower. Now the R Design Pro edition uh, with that you're getting a combination of the best add-ons needed on a modern SUV along with Volvo's best tech and safety features. If we start cosmetically with the exterior to complement that body paint, we've got the unmarked 22 inch five double spoke alloy wheels down here in a diamond cut matte black finish. Now all of these alloys are unmarked. What do I mean by that? There's no scratches, there's no curbing, there's no scuffs. So they all look fantastic just like this one. There's no damages on any. Then if we look at the side profile, we can see there's rear privacy glass with gloss black window surrounds black mirror caps and black roof rails. When the car's locked, the side mirrors are folded in. With that, you get keyless entry. So right now the key's in my pocket. We can come to close proximity with the door, unlock the handle, the mirrors will pop out and the car will unlock. So inside, we've got the upgraded Nappa soft perforated leather seats, the Contour Sport Blonde, contrast yet works so well with the exterior body paint. These front two seats can be electrically adjusted. The buttons for that are just down here. There's also memory mode found on the inner door panel. And then the front two seats can also be heated. The driver has a leather wrapped multifunction steering wheel, which can also be heated. You've got buttons for your adaptive cruise control, voice control, multimedia functions, hands-free voice control. And then through the binnacle, there'll be alerts for a load of safety features, which you need on a car of this size. You've got your blind spot monitor, your lane keeping assist, uh, your cross traffic alert, your road sign information, and a lot more. And that's all part of your IntelliSafe surround upgrade. And I'll explain that in the description in a little bit more detail. You've also got a head up display. So if we just turn on the electrics, hopefully you can see this on video. There we go. So you can see there's a head up display. Your road sign marker will also be there, but you can see that in the photos, what that looks like. Up above, another big upgrade is the panoramic sunroof. This opens up as a sun blind as well, but you can use the button up above here to open the first glass pane and then slide it all the way back. And then down here, we've got the nine inch portrait display, uh, which I'll show you some of the features for now. So just to turn on the car, this is a keyless start car. So we can just turn this knob clockwise with our foot on the brake. Let's shut the door so there's nothing beeping at us. And the big upgrade with this car, which I'll show you straight away, is your 360 degree surround camera. So if we just put a foot on the brake, we'll put that into reverse. We've got so many options, so many permutations here in terms of your camera view. So this is your bird's eye view. If we click this button here, we've got our front camera. If we go back to 360, we've got our rear camera. As you can see, we've got our guidelines. So as we turn the wheel, the guidelines will also move, helping you with your bay park. The car has a tow bar. So if we press this button here, when the tow bar is out, of course, when we turn the wheel again, we'll see that 
guideline also move for you. So you can switch between the lines, the tow bar, you can zoom in, of course zoom out. If we go back to our 360 view, we've then got our blind spot view. So this is also great for your bay parking. You can see directly downwards. Let's just get the camera to focus there. So you can see if you're getting within the white lines. And then you've got the exact same for the other side. We've then got a function for parking in, so this will help you. Uh, this will scan for an opening and then it will help you guide the car in. And then alternatively, whoops, we've got our park out, which is for your parallel parking. So loads of uh, permutations and options here for your camera. Let's just take that out of reverse. Let's put it into park. So this is your main screen. Let me turn down the volume. You've got navigation on here so we can click and then enlarge it like so. It's great being a portrait display because it will take up the entire screen. Um, we can go back, go onto our radio. So FM, AM and DAB, you can cycle through your stations here. Sorry, let's turn down, that down again. You've also got Bluetooth to connect up your uh, phone. So you can play your music through here. You can also use your Bluetooth to connect up your phone book. So as you can see on the left-hand side, contacts, recent calls, keypad, so you can make your uh, calls from there. Climate control is just at the bottom here. So as you can see, it's an entire uh, touchscreen user interface. The intensity is on the left and right-hand side. And then you've got your front windscreen, rear windscreen, intensity of the AC. Let's just turn it all the way down. You've also got parking climate, so you can precondition your car for a certain time. Uh, so if it's on a cold winter morning, you can set it up so that uh, the heating comes on, uh, ready for the school run or the work commute. If we press close, in terms of your heated seats, you've got separate icons on the left and right hand side, but you can find the steering wheel heating on the driver's side. So both or well, all three have an intensity of three, as you can see here. We'll just turn that off so I don't get too toasty. So if we press the middle button, we can scroll either to the right page or the left page where you can see some other uh, applications and settings. So we've got your various settings down here. You can connect up Spotify, park and pay. So uh, of course you can go out and um, if you have the app on your phone, you can go and park somewhere, but you can use it and connect it to the Volvo interface, you've got wiki location, and if we go to the right, this is more of our safety features. So as I've just shown you, the camera, the park in, the park out, head up adjustments, all of your park assist, lane keeping aid, which I briefly mentioned earlier, distance alert, cross traffic alerts, that's your pedestrian sensor or vehicle sensor. Maybe you're parked up, or if you're just in traffic, maybe there's a cyclist that comes up by your side, someone walks in front of your car, there'll be alerts for all around the car. So safety is a uh, absolute paramount with uh, these volvo cars and then a little bit further down just some more information here this is all in the photo so i won't go through all of this but you've got plenty of features plenty of settings on here to control the volume you've got your buttons down here and then your left and right or your previous and next uh, buttons i should say a very tidy and neat yet very smart center console like I said earlier, this is your engine start stop. You've got your various driver modes. So if we click onto that, you've got your eco comfort, which I've kept it in now, dynamic and your off-road version as well. So you can actually raise the suspension. There is a button in the back, uh, in the boot, which I'll show you in just a second, where you can raise the lower part of the car individually too. So let's just put this back into comfort. So we're not messing around too much with that suspension. And then of course our gearbox is just down here under here a couple of cup holders and uh now i think we should have a look at the rest of the car so onto the rear of course we've got the exact same seat upholstery back here you may have already noticed in the advert some blinds on either side don't worry these can be taken down but if you've got kids in the back an absolutely fantastic feature you've also got heated seats for the rear that's found just there one below, you've got your three-point uh, plug socket as well as your 12-volt socket. So that is a big upgrade, having the three-point plug socket as well as the heated seats in the back. It's an absolute dream for kids. And most importantly, you've got plenty of room. You may have noticed in the advert that these rubber protective mats don't look like Volvo, but I can show you that underneath, you have got the original Volvo floor mats underneath. These just act as a protective rubber layer. So it's completely up to you what you do with these rubber mats. Of course, they just act as an additional layer. So 
So let's close this. As we move around to the rear, we can see the privacy glass extends all the way backwards. And you may have seen this in the video earlier. Just to reiterate, there is a parcel shelf that comes with the car. I've had to take it out just so you can see that there's seven seats. So we can electrically operate the tailgate by pressing that button once rather. You can also press the button on your key. So when these two seats are folded flat, you have a similar floor mat just like this one cut out perfectly, which will go on top, which again, you may have seen in the videos, uh, sorry, in the photos on the advert, and then we can just collapse these rear seats like so. I'm going to keep them open just so I can show you the front. This is what I meant by the suspension lowering, so we can press obviously the up and the down button. This will lower the rear end of the car. And then we can press this button here to retract and erect the uh, tow bar. So what we'll have to do, I've just pressed the button, but you'll have to give it a push and then snap it back into place. Hopefully you saw that there. And then likewise, when we press the button again, we'll just have to clip it back into place. So it is electrically operated. There's no need to get on your hands and knees. It will just need that one final push to clip back into place. Again, we can close the boot, pressing the button. So just to show you the rear two seats, it's really easy to get into the back. A lot of seven seaters don't really have an easy gateway. So I'm just gonna open this bit here. You've got a nice little pathway to get into the back. You can do the same on the other side. And then we've got the same blonde perforated Napa leather seats. Let's shut that again, so you can see, nice and easy. I've done it all one-handed. And if you look at the photos, you can see what it looks like with all the seats folded forward. So if you're interested in buying the Volvo XC90, then please give us a call on 01580 712 115, or you can send us an email to sales at yourbestcar.co.uk. Like I said, at the beginning of the video, we take part exchanges, we offer finance too. So if either of those options intrigue you, then please do let us know. We're all reachable on WhatsApp and iMessage. So if you've got any questions about our car or need to send over some details about your part exchange, please feel free to message us on those platforms. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and best of luck with your search for a new car.